Have you ever wanted to be a creature from the depths of the ocean? I mean, I haven't. Well, maybe a mermaid, but she can't bring tech underwater, so that kind of ruins the idea for me. But I would be interested in playing as, say, a shark or an octopus for a while in a game. This Patreon poll is between two games where you play as two sea creatures. Not that the Octodad really ever does anything in the actual ocean, as far as I know. Both of the games seem really unique. I'm interested in playing them, and I've never touched either, but their gameplay and tone couldn't be more different. So yeah, Maneater versus Octodad, Dadliest Catch. Standard poll rules on this one. It'll run for about a week, so it'll end around when the eighth rolls over to the ninth. Supporters on Patreon at the five, ten, and fifteen dollar tiers get to vote. Five dollars gets you one vote. Ten gets you two. Fifteen gets you three. And if you want to throw in whatever amount just to vote, then don't want to keep kicking in every month. That's fine. I appreciate any contribution. Oh, and if you're wondering about stuff from the previous polls, I'll probably be finishing my Helsing Ultimate video while this poll is running, but it's likely going to get hit by copyright stuff, so it could be a while before that actually sees the light of day. The third Layton video is in progress, but you'll likely see a video on the winner of this poll before that one finishes production based on the length of the Layton 2 video. Mm, probably. As for the games in this poll, Maneater is an action RPG where you play as a shark and gloriously eviscerate all manner of sea life and humans. Also, you can get crazy upgrades and turn into like a cyber shark, so that's pretty cool. Sharks are among my favorite animals, and I'm always fond of games like Destroy All Humans and Stubbs the Zombie where you play as monstrous protagonists. To be clear, sharks aren't monsters in real life, but based on the gameplay I've seen of Maneater, they definitely are in this game. Meanwhile, Octodad's a weird one. You play as an octopus posing as a human, he's got a family and a job, and it seems like you just go through some daily scenarios where you try to avoid being discovered as an octopus. To emulate how difficult this would be for an octopus, the controls are kind of purposefully bad and clunky, which is always risky from a design perspective. I'll be real, there's no guarantee that I'll actually like this one, but either way, I'm interested in examining what does and doesn't work about the controls and gameplay. Plus, it's a cute and silly concept, so I'm interested. Oh, and to be clear, Dadliest Catch is technically a sequel to the first Octodad, which was a short game that was distributed for free. I'll only be doing one video, but I'll cover both games in it. After the week has passed and the poll is over, I'll pin a comment saying what one. If you want to go vote for or against either of these getting covered on my channel, you can hop on over to my Patreon, link in the description, or at the end of the video, pick the five, ten, or fifteen dollar tiers, and you should be good to go on that. Thanks for your time. Big thanks to all of my patrons like Lada, Edith, and Sam, all of whom are really cool people. Keep loving what you love, and I'll see you next time with something else.